Manipulation is the process of enlarging or reducing an image. So you can think of getting your eyes dilated at the eye doctor as dilation. That's the same thing. Or if you increase or decrease a picture on your digital camera, it's the same thing. It's dilation. And when we talk about dilation, we're talking about scale factor. And scale factor is the ratio of the dilated image to the original image. So here, triangle ABC is our original image. And the way we read our second one here, the purple one, is triangle A prime, B prime, and C prime. Now, this is our copied image or our dilated image. So, in order to find out what scale factor we used for our dilation, what we do is compare our original coordinates with the new corresponding coordinates. So, if we look at coordinate A here, it's 1, 1, and coordinate A prime is 2, 2. Coordinate B is 2, 3, and B prime is 4, 6, and coordinate C is 4, 1, and C prime is 8, 2. So, if you ask yourself, how do I get from 1 to 2, it's pretty simple. You multiply by 2. How do you get from 2 to 4? You multiply by 2. 4 to 8? You multiply by 2. The same thing with the y coordinates on this one, too. <clears throat> so the scale factor we've used here is 2 over 1 because we've increased it. If we've reduced the size, then the scale factor will be a fraction that is less than the value of 1. But because we've increased it, it's going to be a fraction greater than the value of 1. Let's take a look at this example. Find the coordinates of A, so this was on our coordinate plane, 412 for a dilation with a scale factor of 2.5. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply both coordinates, both the domain and the range, by 2.5. And when we do that, we get our new coordinates of 1030. This new coordinate is now called A prime. A being our original, A prime being our dilation. We could actually have a second dilation after this. And if we had a second dilation, um, it would be called A double prime. But for our purposes, it's mostly just going to be one dilation that we'll need to deal with. Let's take a look at one where you're going to have to actually do a dilation with more than just one point. Here we have X at 3, 6, Y at 6, 9, and Z at 12, 6. And we're going to use a dilation of 4, 3. Now, as I stated earlier, when the scale factor is greater than 1, it's going to be an increase in size, and when the scale factor is less than 1, it's actually going to be a decrease in size. That being said, since this is a scale factor greater than 1, each of these numbers for the new coordinates uh, will be a larger number, so Let's take a look at how that will be done. We're going to multiply each of these by 4 thirds. Now, for those of you who get a little nervous with the fractions, don't go running to a calculator quite yet. Because if you look at this logically, it's really not terribly difficult. Essentially, all we're doing is multiplying 3 times 4 thirds. We cross-reduce first, so what we're left with is 4. So when we do that for each of the problems, this is our result. We've already done the 4 here. Let's look at the 6. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 2 times 4 is 8. Uh, we've done a 6 already, so 9 divided by 3 is 3 times 4 is 12. And these two are repeated over here and here. So before you uh, go racing to the calculator, make sure you look at it logically. A lot of times it's going to be just far easier to keep them in the fraction form than trying to manipulate numbers on a calculator. Word to the wise, you must get comfortable with uh, fractions. It's just going to keep coming at you every year, all the way through middle school, all the way through high school, and into college. 
All right, so um, that problem they actually wanted us to graph. So here is our original shape um, with the coordinates. And here is our new dilation. Notice x, x prime, y, y prime, z, and z prime. So this new shape is a four-thirds dilation of the original shape.